Aubrey, uh, congrats. Just tell me about this unique double header, I guess, of sorts of wins here. You had it really going with your back. Yeah, you know, uh, like we said, it's been a month since we last played this game, and it was interesting leading off with the person on second to start the game, but I knew I had a job to do, and that was to score her. Um, but I think these two games uh, really helped us for this weekend, so I'm excited and uh, grateful for that. Does your mindset differ at all coming into this situation? Because it's like the rain delay, you were in a certain spot when the rain delay hit and the game got halted, and now do you like go back to that place and just step in the batter's box again all these like weeks later? No, I actually just went in with a fresh mind. You know, I think it helped that I had a 0-0 zero, zero count. I think it would have been a little different if I had some balls or strikes on me, but I just went up there like a normal at-bat, and there just happened to be a runner on, so I was like, might as well get an RBI. So I was swinging at the first good pitch I saw. Does the preparation change at all? Um, last time you guys played these guys, they were in a 16-game losing streak, and now they're kind of getting their groove back at 15 wins down the season. Has that had anything to do with how you were going to approach this game? <laughs> I don't think so. We we just want to attack um, early from the start. Uh, no matter who we play, you know, it's just another team. So I think we did we did that today. We came out, um, you know, hungry. We got runs in the first inning or third inning, whatever it was, in the first game, and then we just came out attacking in the second game too. So that was our whole mindset was just come out and attack and win. While the offense was attacking, Ava adjustment in the circle was getting it done. What did you say about her performance? So proud of her. I mean, she's come so far just to see her shine. I was, it was so fun playing behind her because, you know, she feeds you ground balls and just to make those plays and just see her light shine was awesome. What does it mean to you to pick up these two, two wins today after last weekend in Waco and going up against probably what might be one of the biggest series in softball history with the Sooners coming down? I think it was huge. We got back to the swing of things. You know, our bats were going, pitching, defense, everything was flowing in the right direction. Um, I think our heads on straight and we're, we're ready to just attack uh, whoever's next. So we're excited for this weekend. What? Tell me about obviously defensively, because you made a big play there backhanded deep in the hole that kind of now in retrospect saved that no hitter. Yeah, um, it was, I'm pretty sure a change up. So I knew I had to, you know, go over and it was going to come to me. Um, I knew I had to get rid of it as well. Uh, fast runner, so thankfully I got over there in time and just let it go. And Shannon Doherty with a great stretch to finish it off. When you were in those situations, did you know it was a no hitter? Um, that some kind of doesn't go through my mind until the last inning. I actually did kind of know, but you know, throughout the whole game, I just wanted to do my job. You know, the ball gets hit to me, I just want to make plays, uh, have my pitchers back. Um, so I don't think I was really uh, caught up in that until maybe the last inning. What does this team need to do and or uh, this weekend in order to potentially steal the game from a team like the Sooners? Um, play against our best selves. It doesn't matter who we're playing. I think if we play against our best selves, we're going to be really tough to beat. Cool, thanks. Right, awesome. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you.